Hello again, I'm back in my kitchen uh, with another review. This time it's a 8mm projector. It's a Bolex 18-3 Duo. I'm assuming the Duo means it does both Standard 8 and Super 8. Um, I acquired this off my granddad who has had it since it was brand new and he self-confessed that he'd only used it a few times um, and then he put it in storage he didn't know what sort of condition it was in but he gave it to me and I work as a projectionist at a cinema so I took it to work with me one day and on my lunch break I took it apart and I cleaned it all out I re-greased all the insides uh, plugged it in and it worked fine the funny thing was everything was wrong with it other than the one thing I thought I was going to have to replace which was the bulb and the bulb is you know it's been in here for about 20 20 odd years hasn't been changed and it worked perfectly never had a problem with the bulb it came on first time uh, it basically is brand new even though it's from the 60s and it comes with uh, the instruction manual it even comes with the guarantee with my granddad's old address uh, from from Harrow in London uh, and it comes with the just service documents and stuff um, sorry to pull my chair in. you can see here that it has if it's going to focus different speed settings it's not focusing is it but it's got um, they're the frames per second on this little thing here you can just turn it like that at the moment it's on 18 frames per second but you can also do 12, 9, 6 and 3 uh, just underneath it here, this is the switch. You can switch it between Super 8 and um, Standard 8. I've got it on Super 8 at the moment. This little thing here, if you can see it, that's just a screw you undo undoes it and it takes this cover off uh, so you can get to the insides of it. Uh, on top of it here, I don't know if you can just make out, there's a little lever here, move left and right. That's the, the, the Rackian, so obviously when your image gets projected, you can make it so it's not showing half of an image and half of the next image it's just you know as you would expect it um, this is the take up thing here I've got the take up reel here the original one that came with it that just slots into place like so uh, and obviously there's an arm here that comes out which you will put your film on and it runs I come around the front here uh, it runs into this little slot here and it does its thing this is an auto feed function on it which means you don't have to lace it through yourself, you just turn the projector on so it's running, you pull the bit of film, you put it through there, it does it all itself, I don't know what it does in there, you can't see it, but it'll come out, if I take this off again, it comes out here, and it automatically wraps itself, I don't know, it's like, like magic wraps itself on there, uh, and it plays, and it'll play the film through there and onto there. Uh, underneath here you've got uh, this is like a, a splicer, obviously you don't splice the film together but if you've got a damaged end and you try and put it through here it won't feed on properly so you stick it in there and you you cut it so it's flat so it, it goes through properly. Um, here this is the, this controls like the speed, you've got a, a clear arrow here which means you can switch it on and the projector will just run uh, but there won't be any light. The next one the projector is running and you will have uh, the light as well so basically this is if you want to watch the film you put it in this mode that's the one that does it so you get the image coming out uh, the next one it has a little musical notation mark this is if the film has sound I don't think this one can read the sound but on this particular model around the back it's got a little plug here which I think you would buy something else which you would plug in and you would have the, the the sound, the music for the film you're watching separately which you would have to sync up yourself I'm assuming, I don't know that for sure, if anybody knows what you would do with that then I'm sure you're, you're going to tell me but I'll just put this back to normal you've got the lens here, take the lens cap off obviously this is where the image projects from and um yeah this does work which I will prove to you um, I've got a few 8mm films here I've got uh, Rough and Tumbleweed I'll probably put that one on that's yeah, it's quite crude that one <laughs> and I've got 
Scooby Doo, which I've watched this one to death because this was the first one I had, so I won't I won't be putting that one on, but I will put this one on. And there's the reel with the film on. That's probably about I'd say that's about three or four minutes long. It's obviously there's a lot of film there. You think it's longer, but you should see the length of some of the films I have to work with. So <laughs> that's nothing in comparison. So yeah. I'm going to, oh, before I forget, you can adjust the, the height. There's a little wheel here, which you can have the projector tilt up and down by turning that. But I'm going to pause this recording. Uh, I'm going to hopefully be able to show you putting the film on and it lacing itself through. And, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm back and I've, um, I've as you can see, I've plugged it in. Yeah, my finger gets out of the way. Uh, I've got the film put on here basically there's a little lever here which you just undo you take the film you know put it on line the grooves up with the with the slots you move the little metal clip there so it doesn't come off um, I've precariously balanced it on a lot of stuff to try and shine it in there as best I can because I can't be bothered to find another way to do it um, so yeah I'm gonna like I said that's it running. You get a little frame light here, so you know you can see like the film and what it's doing. But the actual bulb itself isn't on, but you can hear everything's turning, just no light. We'll switch it to the next one, and voila, we have light. You can hang on, there's a bit of film hanging in front of it. But yeah, you can see it's projecting, so I'm gonna pray that I have this the right way round. Uh, otherwise it will be a very short review, we just feed that through there there you go, uh, that's gripped and it's coming out the other end and oh look at that, it's wrapping itself around isn't that good, there you go, that's caught on, we've got tension and there's the image, this is all just gash, look we've got the count down there uh, it's upside down, I'm hoping this has been rewound properly it did say head the right way around, so it should. There we go, Castle Films. Presents Rough and Tumbleweed. I did, um, I bought a black and white Yogi Bear cartoon off of eBay, but um, it was in particularly bad condition. Uh, when, I, when I played it through, it actually, because the film was actually bent, it locked up inside the projector uh, and it. Like it melted, you could see the image on the screen like melt. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen that on cartoons. I've seen it many a time in my job. But yeah, this is um, how people used to enjoy their home movies in the 60s before we had uh, VHS and videotapes. You'd be, uh, you'd use a eight millimeter camera. You would record onto actual film. You would send a film away to get developed, and this is what you would get back and you'd have to do exactly what I've just done here in order to to watch it. They did release films as well that you could put on a projector and watch, for instance, like this cartoon. Um, but yeah, actually got something going on over here now. Guy robbing a bank. Pretty boy McCoy. It's a hell of a chin. <laughs> I don't know if you could lip read that, but he just said, that's me. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to, I'll show you actually, I'll put it out of rack so you can see. See, look at that. You can see the racking, you see the image has come up, and I'll move it back. And I'll move it the other way. Oh no, look at that. Happens all the time at my job. So yeah, um, it's getting on to 10 minutes now, so I hope you enjoyed the review um, and I look forward to posting another one okay thanks <laughs>